you're hearing the calling from the cacao and you want to share this heart opening medicine with your community in ceremony. Yes. <laughs> or maybe you're already hosting cacao ceremonies. This is such an incredible time in humanity as these plant medicines come out of the jungle faster than ever before for so many of us in humanity to consume and journey with us to expand our awareness and allow for deep healing and transformation. And there's a beautiful emergence and popularity of cacao ceremonies as humanity awakens more and more. And what an opportunity for you to share with your community in an authentic, sacred, and embodied manner. Now, what exactly does that mean? Well, plant medicines are sacred, universal intelligence that has manifested onto our planet in certain plants so that once we consume them with great honor and reverence, they take us on a journey of seeing ourselves and the world in the perfection that it all is. In fact, there was a time not long ago when these master plant medicines, including cacao, would call only on certain shamans and conscious teachers who were in resonance and in expanded awareness and consciousness and able to respect the sacredness and the teachings and the wisdom from these plants. And now here we are, you and me, yes, and so many others being called from the cacao to honor and respect with full presence and humility to receive their guidance, their teachings, their wisdom, and their messages to support us on our own spiritual journey. Sharing these medicines in ceremony comes with great responsibility and honor as we call on cosmic spirits into a space to support others. It's not just something we experience in someone else's cacao ceremony once or twice or even three times and then start hosting our own ceremonies right away. The first step when a master plant medicine is calling to you is to first journey deeply with her. And you do that by talking to her to ignite and experience a beloved sacred relationship with her. She's calling you to take you deep into yourself, to experience profound shifts in your perceptions, in your awareness, and in your consciousness. And then the second step when a beautiful plant medicine, medicine is calling to you is to receive the clarity and messages from her, to experience some sort of personal transformations over and over again as she supports you to let go of some of your conditioning, some of these conditioned beliefs, and to expand into new higher frequency perceptions. And then, and only then, to receive her guidance, her initiation on exactly how and when you will begin to share this in ceremony with others. And now how do you do this? You begin a deep and profound devotional relationship with her. The dieta is a traditional process where you devote a certain period of time to drink her every day with specific intention, honoring and surrendering, facilitated by a shaman or an initiated ceremonialist. Now the cacao plant has guided me to support others through this same process that I myself experienced four years ago. I was first being called by the plant medicine, drinking her daily with devotion and so much honoring working with a shaman. I was working with a shaman to experience personal ceremony and several dietas, these deep dives with the medicine. And then I was apprenticing with the shaman, receiving ongoing radical transformational teachings and wisdom from the cacao plant medicine directly. And I was hearing the initiation 
eventually from the cacao directly that it was time for me to start sharing and hosting my own cacao ceremonies. Because these plant medicines are calling you to, to form a sacred relationship with you, to go into connection with the divine cacao plant and to fully embrace the sacredness and the spirit of the cacao. You know, the cacao is calling to those who are ready to take you into a big shift in consciousness and resonance, a big paradigm shift to you, for you to let go, let go so that you can enter into this new paradigm shift, this next level paradigm shift for you. The cacao wants to show you what's beyond your stories, what's beyond your beliefs, because it's unimaginable beauty unimaginable beauty that's beyond your current state of awareness and when you see a glimpse of that other side which she's going to show you over and over again of course you're going to want to let go of your stories and because there is so much responsibility and honoring in sharing this medicine through ceremony with others you will then begin to share those new insights in that sacred space, in ceremony with others, instead of your old conditioned beliefs. You know, we need a strong foundation also in understanding cultural appropriation, understanding the harm that has taken place because of that. We must truly honor and respect the sacred lineage of our beautiful indigenous families and ancestors you know, they are our wisdom keepers who have been communing, what a beautiful word, communing with these heart opening sacred plants for thousands of years. We need to honor these wisdom keepers and honoring the cultural practices and rituals. There is ceremonial and ritual underlay and wisdom that's required to skillfully work with any plant medicine. There's also trauma that comes up for some guests during the ceremony. It's critical that you're trauma informed and able to hold space and support this journey for all present while in your ceremony circle. You know, there is wisdom, earth honoring indigenous history and legacy and a teacher mentor apprentice relationship with the plant, which needs to be developed for you to build the capacity to hold space and understand the profound power and reverence that is required to open the medicine space or experience within ourselves, ourselves first, to then become the vessel to which we can support others to connect with the plant medicines. If you're hearing the calling from the cacao and you're excited to begin facilitating ceremonies, know that your first step with this sacred plant medicine, she is calling to you to work with you, to dive deep with you so that you can experience her teachings, receive her wisdom and develop a sacred relationship with her before holding space for others to experience her. Although you want to start hosting cacao ceremonies, your personal journey with the cacao is what matters right now. This is all you need to focus on right now. All that other beautiful stuff will come eventually and even better, it's going to come directly from her, that initiation. So now that you know all of this, what do you do to get started? If you're being guided to facilitate cacao ceremonies, or maybe you're already facilitating cacao ceremonies and you're looking for guidance and mentorship, this process has two phases in the training. The first is a profound dieta and deep dive journey with the cacao for 16 days so that you can experience connecting profoundly with her through a special diet, through social conditions and even specific heating instructions to receive accelerated teacher teachings 
from the cacao. The cacao deep dive journey is a beautiful 16 day journey and initiation through devotion, daily devotion to develop a deep and profound, sacred and reverent connection and union with the cacao spirit. This is a beautiful and necessary step to becoming a cacao ceremony facilitator and practitioner. And after this journey with the cacao spirit, this dieta deep dive journey, that's when the second step begins which is learning about and honoring the logistics of the ceremony itself. Now, if all of this resonates with you, click on the button below to set up a call with me so that we can determine if now is the right time for you for this journey. Because there are some important factors that need to be in place before participating. And so we can discuss those on our call together. And it is my greatest honor to guide you through this sacred journey with the cacao consciousness and to support you to be guided, nurtured, and deeply connected to this sovereign plant medicine. Mm, namaste, Satnam.